welcome. Today I'm using this new release. Uh, this is a stamp set called Wedding Bouquet. It has some roses and some sentiments. I'm just going to use the roses from this particular stamp set and I'm going to stamp that on a black note card using some embossing ink and I'm going to emboss it with gold embossing powder. Now I'm going to use some watercolor metallic paints on this. So this is not any special uh, black cardstock. This is just regular cardstock, but just keep in mind because we're going to use water, we want the cardstock to be a little heavy. So I'm using 110 pound here. Um, 100 pound would also work. I happen to have 110 pound and that's why I'm using this. There are some watercolor black cardstock that you do find in the market. One is the Stonehenge black water, uh, watercolor cardstock, which you can definitely use. Um, I did not have that, but I wanted to show you that this would work absolutely fine with your regular black cardstock that you may have in your stash. As I said earlier, I have gone ahead and stamped that uh, rose, one of the rose uh, bunches onto a black note card and here I'm just heat setting it. And I'm also gonna build another uh, flower right over this bunch just once I'm done heat setting here. And I'm not doing any masking because it's just a very small area that's going to overlap. And because I'm doing embossing, it's easy to just remove the embossing powder and you'll be good to go. That's one of the easier way if you are lazy like me to mask. <laughs> it's an easy way to do, if, especially if you are embossing. So here you can see I'm again adding that static powder to remove any stickiness from the cardstock so that my embossing powder will stick exactly where I want it to stick. So I'm just again um, stamping that rose right over the, the, the bunch that we just stamped earlier. And then I'm going to add embossing powder once again. This is a very fine detailed embossing powder. And I'm going to heat set this again. But before I heat set, you can see there that the stem is overlapping onto the flower. So all I'm doing is just brushing away any excess uh, embossing powder that is over the place that I don't want. And then I've heat set it. Now it's time for the fun part. And that is watercoloring with metallic inks. The metallic ink that I'm using here is Fine Tech Metallic Ink. I really find this ink quite uh, intense on black cardstock. Uh, all to New also has a beautiful metallic uh, uh, palette and you could definitely use that. I've picked a few different colors. As I said earlier, this is a galaxy rose. So I've picked up the colors that in my mind would be a galaxy color. So purple, some aqua blues and some uh, dark deep blues. So I've gone ahead and wet the palette, uh, the ink uh, palettes because they do tend to dry up. So you just need to spray them and wet it down. And I've lifted some uh, water in my watercolor brush. Now keep in mind, make sure that you have a uh, a paper towel handy because you need to sop up all the extra excess water when you dip your brush or into the water you can see here once I dip the brush I sop the excess water and then dip it in the color so I'm not lifting a lot of water onto this cardstock as I said earlier this is not a watercolor cardstock so you want to keep the water as little as possible the other thing to keep in mind with pigment uh, with, sorry metallic inks are that they are opaque that means to say you can't do a lot of blending once they dry, unlike watercolor, watercolor, regular watercolor, which do blend even when they dry, you wet them, you can move the colors, not with your metallic paints. So the only way you can blend them is while they're wet and on your cardstock. Once they're dry, you cannot blend these inks, but because they have this high pigment, they're opaque, they look marvelous on dark cardstocks just like black or navy blue or any dark cardstock that you may have metallic paints work because of the opaqueness of their color unlike many other watercolors which are either translucent or transparent i hope you're understanding what i'm trying to say here anyway so you can see here i'm just blending those inks on the cardstock itself i'm not creating a palette anywhere else but i'm actually blending those inks on the cardstock while I'm coloring the flowers. So I'm just adding different shades of the blue and then adding some purple right here you can see. Then I'm taking some deeper blue, blending that outward and just creating this beautiful galaxy looking roses. And for the flower, I'm taking this, uh, it's like a two-toned green with reddish tone, um, 
color which I'm just going to add on the flower so I'm not doing any multiple coloring on this uh, flower I'm just keeping it to that one metallic shade there as I said this metallic shade already has a couple of colors in it so it just works out fine for my leaves and then I'm going to add a haze around these flowers so I'm just taking this white pearlescent uh, metallic paint and I'm just taking very little bit of the paint and most of it is water and then I'm just dragging it all fading it out into the black creating like a cloudy haze around these flowers I'm guessing if it's a galaxy rose it has to be in the sky somewhere I hope so anyway so I'm just adding this metallic uh, this galaxy not sorry this cloudy haze all around um, the flower and just make sure you're not adding a whole lot of it it's just a little bit I am lifting quite a bit of water in here and I'm just trying to drag that um, white paint uh, to the black of the cardstock so I'm just trying to keep the white very deep very intense at the edge of the stamp and then fading it out into the black I am so sorry my dog decides to bark um, I'm sitting very my Doma studio is closed. I am sorry if you can hear her bark. Um, she's right outside my door. That's what she does all the time when I'm stamping or when I'm creating. She just waits for me outside till I'm done. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Anyway, so here you can see after I was done, I just thought I my flowers need a little bit more depth and intensity. So I just went over those colors once more in the same areas where I had placed earlier. And now you can see how that beautiful galaxy rose looks. Now I'm going to take a white gel pen. I just want to make sure my surface is nice and dry for the next step here. I'm taking this white gel pen here and I'm going to start adding some starry dots inside the galaxy rose. So I'm just adding these dots only inside the roses and nowhere else, not even on the leaves, just on the rose petals. And I'm going to keep these uh, dots quite uh, varied in sizes. So I'm going to add some tiny dots, some larger dots, and I'm going to spread them all over this, um, this rose um, color of I mean, the rose stamp that we just went ahead and colored and once I'm done with that I'm going to take um, a white pencil very soon here there you can see a white pencil and I'm going to just go over some of those dots that I created some some larger ones and I'm just going to go over them and what that does is it creates a halo around those dots and makes it look as if they are twinkling up in the sky I don't really know if you can see it in the video but in real life it looks really really beautiful so I'm just going to keep continuing to add that white dots just in a few I um, mean sorry that white color pencil over some white gel dot just to add that halo and I'm also going to add a little bit of a twinkle so I'm just adding a plus sign or a cross right above there and then I'm going to pull that with my white pencil once again over it so I'm just going to go over that entire cross once more and that creates that faded edge or that hazy look of the twinkle and I'm going to just add in random places just to kind of give it a little bit of a sparkle in on this image and once I'm done I'm going to, I and here you can see it's all done I decided to frame this image a bit so I've taken this die cut here this is from all to new it cuts uh, multiple rectangle frames thin frames and I'm just deciding which size I want do I want the smaller one or I want the larger one I still want the image to hang out of my frame so um, it doesn't matter what side but I think I did go ahead and decide with the larger one of the two that I have there are multi many frames in there I just went with one that I felt would frame this image very well and then I'm just going to take some liquid glue and I am just going to add this frame around the edge and once I added it I realized that I had stamped my flowers a little wonky so it was not exactly centered to so the frame didn't really center properly and that was an easy fix so I just added the frame and then went ahead and um, chopped off that extra bit you can see on the on the side where my band-aid finger is you can see that that side is a little larger than the one on the on the other side and the same thing was true for the top and bottom as well so I just went ahead and removed that excess and now I was pretty happy that it was 
not fully scented but it was scented enough and then i took the sentiment which i stamped using some white embossing powder and i'm going to adhere that to the left edge and that balanced off the image to the center um the sentiment is from the stamp set called uh, sweet friendship by the way and then i'm just taking this beautiful pearls that Mar crafty maraki has released uh recently which was uh, on the 17th of uh, of january and i'm just going to add that sprinkling which those pearls actually those black pearls looked like just like those galaxy roses that we painted and it made sense to add those and then i also take took this miracle gems magic gems actually from crafty maraki as well and added that too and then that pretty much completed the top part of the card and then all that i did was i adhered this to the white top folding note card and you can see that there's a tiny edge of white seam on the two sides and I'm just going to uh, trim that off of course the card size is going to get a little small, smaller I think about an eighth of an inch smaller than a four and a quarter by five and a half regular card size and it didn't really matter because it was very very small and I didn't want to redo the whole thing because I painted and anyway so here you can see the finished look i hope you enjoyed this galaxy rose look and i will see you next time bye bye